V&M Wild Thing Series Straight Wild Worm. It does some crazy things in the water. I'm Justin here from Mystery Tackle Box. Let's talk about this worm. Now, like the name implies, this is a straight-tailed worm, but it's different than most worms you've seen out there. This thing has a short main body and a very long tail, but the tail is not a traditional ribbon tail. It's more of an eel-like tail, and it's got like a shad profile, very thin edge on the bottom and a thicker edge on top. And then it kind of goes into a uh, trick worm style tail that has a little keel on it that's gonna have extra action. Now coming in at eight and a half inches long, this thing is gonna be great for Texas rigging, your traditional Texas rig style worm with a bullet weight. You can rig it for uh, fishing in brush piles and docks and all sorts of cover. Or you could put a larger style shaky head, something with a four or five aught size hook on it, maybe up to a half ounce to drag those deeper areas, rocky areas uh, offshore. Uh, but it's gonna be great for just fishing on the bottom and around that cover. Things I'm gonna look for when I'm throwing this bait are types of cover that are in that mid depth. So, you know, anywhere from that 10 to 20 feet of water and what is down there. I'm looking for rocks, road beds, I'm looking for brush piles, I'm looking for trees, you know, anything that the fish are gonna be around that I can target them with this worm with. The action is gonna be a, a bounce, bounce, and then just pause. Let that tail really do the work for you. I'm gonna hold the rod tip up around 10 to 11 o'clock, and I'm just gonna pop the rod you know, a few, a few inches at a time. And then I'm just gonna let the bait sit. And when that bait is just dancing down there on the bottom, it's gonna look really good. Since this is a little bit bigger worm, I'm gonna beef up my gear a little bit. I'm always going with a high speed gear ratio reel when I'm fishing worms, but I'm gonna fish at least a seven foot medium heavy action rod. I actually prefer to be a little bit over seven foot, something around seven two, seven three something that is uh, got enough backbone to really set the hook in into the fish through that worm and then i'm going to go with 15 to 20 pound test fluorocarbon line that's going to be the best line to not get shredded by those big bass's teeth when they they bite into it but it's still clear enough to where they'll come over there and they'll bite it now that you know how to fish the vnm wild thing worm you can go check out more tips and techniques by subscribing to the mystery tackle box channel